my name is Marlies and welcome to my channel, Vegan Eyes Lioness Love. The Great Awakening is really happening. Can you feel it? It's here. It's time to let go of the old and embrace the new. It's time to create the new world. And you best believe some people won't accept you and they will judge you for any changes um, that you are making or will be making. And who cares? <laughs> Follow your gut and your intuition. Most likely, these weren't your people in the first place. Are you having headaches and body aches right now that perhaps you didn't have before, it's because it's time to release your feelings in a kind and a compassionate way and step into your power. This is when the true awakening happens. When you feel you have to suppress yourself uh, around certain people, it's time to find new people. <laughs> I was just at an event. It was such a realization when you speak with like-minded people, your tribe it's such a beautiful thing. Sometimes you may have to be alone for a little while and don't be afraid, it's okay. Within this time, you get to find out who you are, who you truly are and what you are made of. You connect with your truth, releasing your ego and freeing yourself from things that are holding you back. Embrace your flaws. They are a part of you that make you your beautiful, authentic self. Stand in your truth. There will always be people who will judge and it's only their two cents <laughs> and speaking of two cents how about the coin shortage how much BS is that <laughs> let's face it let's talk about that for a minute it's another form of control if you're with me this far, you're woken or you're waking up. And we are either going to be a part of the solution or a part of the problem. We have all of these doctors coming out now talking the truth about COVID. We have to watch what we listen to on the news and whatever we're listening to, what we're believing in. One thing that's true is, do you know they want to kill 500,000 shark, a half a million shark to produce a COVID vaccine. That is insane. PETA came out with a statement that started out saying, if COVID-19 has taught us anything, it's that exploiting animals got us into this mess and continuing to exploit them 
isn't going to get us out of it. Which is so true. This is profit driven and it will end up badly if it is allowed to be followed through with. What needs to happen is we all need to protect ourselves by keeping our immune system strong. There is clinical documentation stating almost 99%, I think it's like 98.9% of death cases had underlying issues whether it be respiratory or other elements involved. And I also want to extend with much love and my deepest condolences for anyone that has lost anyone during this time. If we can please make sure that we are keeping ourselves strong with healthy eating habits and lots and lots of fresh foods and also what we are feeding our minds. Don't forget to get outside and go for a walk, go for a bike ride, a run, and put your feet in the grass, what have you. Just make sure you get outside in nature. It's so important. Fresh juice cleanses are amazing. Fasting, I do intermediate fasting pretty much every day. <laughs> Having a fresh juice in the morning is ideal. If it's out of season, Organic, uh, frozen is great for any fruit or vegetable. And I will add that pineapple is great. It has bromelain in it, which reduces inflammation and swelling. It aids in any sinus problems. It's great for um, osteoarthritis and it's a natural cough suppressant. So throw out that cough medicine with all that garbage in there <laughs> and make a natural uh, pineapple shake with some almond milk or soy milk. It's, it's amazing. So it has so many wonderful benefits. I do love to snack on organic, uh, fresh cashew ricotta that I make. It is delicious and it's a healthy snack. And I have it with uh, gluten-free, organic uh, chia chips and salsa. I will actually add a easy recipe at the end of this one for the cashew regatta. It's delicious. It is so addicting. <laughs> People ask me about fast food and my answer is absolutely no fast food <laughs> ever. <laughs> Our bodies were not designed to break that stuff down. It's not even real food. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Anyone who um, suffers from any kind of skin conditions, uh, psoriasis, eczema, or any kind of autoimmune issues, uh, intestinal problems, I could go on and on. I'm not a doctor, but I have been studying this stuff now for years. Suffering myself in the past with ailments and not wanting to suffer anymore, I dug deep. Changing your diet to natural healthy foods will not only slow the process of all these things down. But if you continue on a daily basis, 
eating only natural foods, natural healthy foods, you will heal. After I did an elaborate allergy testing for food and environmentally, after getting terribly sick from the red tide and the algae back in um, January of 2019, getting my results back, finding out that it was the environment and it was from the water and the air that got me ill. I was still so thankful that I did such an elaborate testing. I went through each and everything uh, like with a fine tooth comb. For instance, something came up in red. <laughs> so I looked it up and I was highly allergic to it and it was food coloring. And I'm like, that's so crazy. So I researched it and I researched it and I researched it. And it's astonishing. The different color food colorings have different elements in them, but food coloring in general is cancer causing. And if you look at processed food packages, there's food coloring in almost everything. I also learned that you can make food coloring naturally from different fruits and vegetables. How awesome is that? <laughs> no cancer. When I had this testing done, I had already been vegan for a few years. Everything that came up in my food lists that I was allergic to was all animal products and all processed foods. <laughs> I can't even make this stuff up. And processed foods would be anything packaged. With that said, I started making my own hummus, my own salad dressings, and then some. I know change can be difficult for some more than others, but by changing your eating habits, it will be the most beneficial thing you can ever, ever do for yourself. Do for your family, for the animals, for the planet. It all starts with us. This is where the awakening is. I promise you, you will never look back and say, I wish I hadn't done that. You could start by substituting dairy for dairy-free products, substituting meat for plant-based meats. I make mushroom burgers that are awesome. I have a video <laughs> that I posted how to make them with all the ingredients, so you can check that out. I also make mushroom balls <laughs> that I put in my sauce. And you can experiment with recipes. I have seen some pretty awful, horrific things on my journey that I, I wouldn't share them freely here. Um, I say do your own homework and do your own investigation. And if, if you do that, you will never eat animal products again. I 
say, if it had parents, eyes, and a soul, I ain't eating it. Just saying it. Not only do we ingest the product, but we ingest their fear, their anger, any low vibration within. And we carry that with us. When I stopped doing that, that's when my awakening truly started. It started years ago, but it went into hyperdrive once I cut animal products out. Some countries, they eat dog, but they don't eat cow. Here in the United States, we eat cow, but we don't eat dog. What's right? None of it. To free ourselves, we have to free all beings. And we're seeing this now. And I talk to so many people that are making these changes. And I am so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. And the good news is people are waking up due to these wonderful changes to what's going on in the world. The awful child trafficking, how some businesses are not closed down and people, celebrities and politicians are not in jail is beyond me. Beyond, beyond me. I don't know how it's still going on. When I started digging into all of that, I couldn't believe what I discovered. Do you know there is a staggering 800,000 children reported missing in America each year? 800,000. And some children are never reported missing. And this, we can't really determine the most accurate total. And this is not including the children that are sold. Yes, sold. I think with all this information coming out, it has ignited the awakening for many people. We're realizing it's up to us. It's up to the light workers to stand up and say, this shit has been going on long enough. We will honor our mother earth. We will honor ourselves by nurturing our bodies with proper nutrition, by eating to live and not living to eat. We will honor the people that are doing good things in this world and not the celebrities and the ones in charge making a mess of things. We need to protect our children. We need to protect our animals and the planet say no to the vaccine and yes to the building of a healthy immune system. And let me plant the seed for you. If you're okay with the vaccine now, because they want everybody crying, give me the vaccine. They want everybody in fear. So let me plant the seed for you. What would you think about it if you found out that there was going to be a chip in it? Just think about that. People want to know what they could do to create change and to put a stop to what is happening. Do you want to win the race? Well, you have 
to run in it. Some people want to win the race, but they don't want to run in it. They just want to show up at the finish line and get the trophy. It doesn't work that way. Build your immune system, keep your hygiene well, move out of fear and into love. Move out of fear and into love and shine your light brightly for yourself and for others. And welcome to the great awakening. Speak up, spread joy, smile. We have two ways to go through life, regardless of what's happening. Happy or unhappy? I choose happy. <laughs> Always choose happy. Be happy, my friends. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with much love. You're amazing. Until next time, peace and choose love always. Thank you.